This is the Open Syed Salmonella Hunt simulation. When you press Setup, bacteria will appear on the screen. These bacteria are not all identical. They come in six different variations based on the number of flagella they have. Some have one, some have two, three, four, five, or six flagella. When I press Go Pause, the bacteria will begin to move around. Notice that some bacteria move faster than others. The bacteria with more flagella move faster than those that have fewer flagella. That's sometimes hard to see, so one way to determine which are the faster moving bacteria is to give them a color. You can decide on whether to run the simulation with or without these colors, and you can try it in different ways. When I change this drop down menu to flagella and color, You can see those that have six flagella will appear red, those that have one flagellum will appear purple, and other numbers of flagella will appear in different colors. These colors also show up in the histogram below. There are six different bars to represent the six different types of variations. Notice the number of bacteria for each variation is equal right now. You can hover your cursor over the bars to see the counts of the various bacteria in your environment. The first two numbers are duplicates, both indicating the x-axis digit, which is the number of flagella that variation has. And the last number, the y-axis digit, shows how many bacteria of that variation are in your environment. In this simulation, we can act as a white blood cell and can kill bacteria by clicking on them. I'm going to click on one of the bacteria using my mouse cursor and mouse button. When I do so, watch what happens to the bars in the histogram to the left. One bar went up and one bar went down. That's because I removed one from the population by clicking on it but at the same time, the computer selected another individual bacterium to produce an offspring. The randomly selected bacterium splits in half, producing two offspring. The offspring have identical genetic information to the parent bacterium and thus the exact same number of flagella. In this case, it picked a blue bacterium. The blue bacterium had an extra offspring to replace the one purple bacterium I removed. That's a lot going on so we can see that more clearly by decreasing the number of bacteria we start with. I will pause the model and do that now. I've decreased the initial number of bacteria per variation to one so that we start with one of each kind of bacteria. I'll press setup so that my environment matches my settings. Now I'll click go pause and watch the graph again. When I click on one bacterium to remove it, notice that the orange bacterium split to make two. One new orange bacterium replaced the one I removed. Every time I click on a bacterium, another bacterium is randomly selected from the population to replace it. In this case, it was another orange bacterium. Another tool to notice is a graph showing the average number of flagella of the bacterium in your environment over time. When you hover your mouse over the line graph, the first number shown is the timestamp, which is the x-axis coordinate. The second number is the y-axis coordinate for the average number of flagella of the bacteria in your environment at that time. Pen1 is just the simulation's name for the region your bacteria are in. Let's rerun the model again, this time back to starting with five individuals per variation. The red circle indicates the white blood cell represented by my cursor while I move it around. Notice while moving the cursor around to hunt after bacteria, they will run away from the red circle if they detect its motion. But if I keep the cursor very still, the red circle will turn gray. Bacteria do not flee the gray circle. 
and any bacteria that run into the gray circle will automatically die. This allows us to simulate the two different hunting strategies used by different types of white blood cells.